Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. Today is Saturday, guys, and it's around 11 a.m. And I'm coming on because we are going tonight to a Halloween party at a friend's house that we do every year, except last year we didn't because it was around the time that Julie got married. Julie's anniversary is the end of the month. So um, she, we didn't, we, she didn't have um, the Halloween party because they were in the wedding and everything. It was just a big thing. But anyway, so we're, it's back on. So we're going to a Halloween, we're going to their house. Very, very good friends of ours um, for a Halloween party. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So anyway, I didn't do a video yesterday because I was so pooped and everything. So I wanted to, and I said I would do one today. So I'm gonna come on and do some things. I'm, have, I'm making deviled eggs and I'm gonna make some brownies um, for the party. So. Um, I'm gonna come on and show you that and maybe I'll put some snippings later of it and you know Before I upload it. I will show you guys our um, our costumes and stuff. It's gonna be cute Just something very simple and cute this this year uh, Which is every year for us anyway. Yeah, but um, so anyway, yeah, so um, Let's get started. I have my apron on today because one of my new shirts and I don't want to get it dirty Hopefully I won't <laughs> Did you know me? Um, but anyway, I'm ready to go. So I already boiled my eggs. They're sitting over there. I'm gonna let them sit. I'm gonna get the brownies going because I'm making two batches and I want to get them going because it's 11 o'clock. Party's not till 6.30 tonight, but I want to get everything uh, together. So, you know, ready and whatever, have everything going. I don't want to do anything at the last minute because that's very stressful. Um, feeling a little bit like off today. Um, I don't really, well, last night was not a great night. I was, I don't know, it was just a bad emotional night for some reason. And um, I was just a little irritated and just irritable and everything. And it just, so I woke up this morning feeling a little bit ugh, like ugh. And then, uh, so I was just listening to my, um, my worship, um, my worship music. And it, it's making me feel better. Uh, last night I went to bed, before I went to bed, I read some of my Bible and everything. And uh, I've been feeling really good emotionally the last couple of months, but sometimes it does creep in there. And today is one of those days that I'm kind of fighting it a little bit. I almost don't want to go to the party tonight, and I and uh, I'm going to go because it's it's good friends, and I don't want to disappoint anybody. And Julie and my you know just I don't want to disappoint anybody, so I'm I'm definitely going to go. But I feel like I don't want to go, so that's why I'm pushing going to push myself to go because I don't want to go. That's what happens with depression and anxiety. So anyway, I'm just going to push through it. I'm not going to give into it right now because I feel like I can handle it. So I'm going to get myself going. I, I haven't had coffee. I'm trying to debate whether I want coffee today because sometimes coffee can mess my stomach up for the whole day. And I don't want to be messed up for the whole day. So I think I'm going to make some iced coffee today because I've, um, um, I've been having a lot of hot coffee. Uh, so I'm going to lay off that today um, and I'm going to have some cold coffee. But... Not yet, right now. And I'm also hungry, too, so i got to make something to eat. I don't know what, what that's going to be. But anyway, I want to get the brownies going because it's a two. It doesn't matter. It's still, it's, I'm going to be making two batches, but, you know, I have to get it going. All right, so. Let's get started. Oh. I got a wishbone from the chickens that we had from uh, Sam's. I went to, I did a, I didn't do a haul, but I went, we went to, me and Frankie went to Walmart and Sam's. I think I was just tired from that as well. I didn't do a haul. It was when I came home, it was just too overwhelming. It was like after six, we had to get going, had to get cleaned up. And we had the Yankee game was on at eight. Billy was coming home. I had to get, you know, so I had bought, um, when, I, when we went to Sam's, I already knew that I wasn't going to be cooking. So I bought three of the roasting chickens that they had there. Guys, I raved about them before. They're amazing. So um, I had, I just sliced them up and everybody either had sandwiches or uh, I made, uh, there was baked potatoes and that's, and that was for dinner. But anyway, I had to make, get all that going and everything else. So I didn't, um, I didn't, I just didn't have time to, I really wanted to, to, to do a haul, you know, tape it, but I just couldn't. So again, I'll show you the things periodically that I have gotten in the last couple of days um, that I've gotten there and that's all I can do. So anyway, I can only do what I can do, guys. I try my best. All right, so let's get it started on the brownies and so I can stop chatting because that's what happens with me. All right. Um, 
love this and I'm gonna use my mixer but I have to I have to get the recipe um, I don't know where I, I put the recipe somewhere but it's like now I gotta remember where I put it yeah so give me a second <laughs> all right guys I found my recipe where I wrote it because I have them all over the place I still I'm gathering my recipes together from my cookbook and all that, so. I'm a work in progress, guys. I'm just telling you, you know it. All right, so I got all the ingredients together. Um, now, I, like I said, I'm doubling this recipe because I want some for home and some for the party. All right, let me get the oven empty. Pans. They're up there. I'll get them in a minute. Made my iced coffee, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get going on this now. I salt the Lord. All right. I found all my cups. Now I'm going to keep them together. I'm going to hide them in a place where I probably won't remember because, you know, I bought, guys, a couple weeks ago, I bought um, a package of straws, you know, like the, like the, you know, the more, more flexible, like cheap plastic straws. I put them someplace. I remember putting them someplace to say, oh, I'm going to keep them here so I don't lose them or get them crazy. And I can't, I don't remember where I put them. I haven't found them yet in all my doings in the kitchen. So I don't know what I did with them. Anyway, these get lost because um, they used to be together, but we had to unhook them because I can't use them and hook them at the same time, have them hooked at the same time. So they get lost because people put them in all different places. So I have to keep, I have to keep um, track of these because I love these. These are from one of my subscribers. You know who you are. Thank you so much. I love these. And so, um, yeah. Anyway, so I got all my cups. I just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> all right. Okay, so it says, um, uh, preheat the oven to 350. Lightly grease, 8-inch baking pan lined with parchment. Yes, I know. Combine hot butter, oil, and sugar together in a medium bowl. Whisk. Okay, right. So I have to let me melt the butter. It takes, it's, you have to have a half a cup of melted hot butter. So one stick is a half a cup, right? Yes. So let's cut this. Um. So let's melt the butter. Um, put it in the microwave. I need you to come me I need you because I have to my um brownie pans are all the way up on top. Uh um up there those those two small ones right under the big yeah under the yeah. Is there two of them there? Yeah. Thank you. There's two, right? Okay. So these are my brownie pans, guys. These are perfect for brownies. But, you know, um, they're very rich and they're, they're delicious, but uh, one will not cut it. You know, I mean, one will cut it just for me to bring to the party, but I can't, you know, make one for the house. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Lightly grapher, we know that. That's the layer. I'm not doing that yet. Combine hot butter, oil, and sugar together in a medium bowl. Whisk well. Okay, so oil. I'm going to use olive oil. It said you can use olive oil or 
cooking oil and I prefer to use olive oil. Let's see if the butter's melted. Just about. So this is the apron I'm wearing today, this pretty one from Lily, I love it. I love this one, it matches my outfit today, kinda. And this I have today on, the, the outfit of the day. <laughs> All right, so what I say again, because I have to repeat it over and over again. Combine hot butter, oil, and sugar. How much sugar do I need? Oh, now I gotta remember I'm doubling this. Okay, so that, yes, so I doubled the butter. Gotta make sure, guys, because then I'll mess this whole thing up. All right, so I need two, one tablespoon of olive oil, so I need two tablespoons. Just gotta make sure this is hot. I mean, it's a little melted. Where's my whisk? It smells so good. All right, so I gotta preheat the oven to 350. Combine hot butter, oil, and sugar. All right, so here's the butter. Let's get all that out of there. Where is my other thing? I don't know if things disappear. Get all that out of here. Don't want to leave any of it in the pot. We need all the flavor. All right, the olive oil, so it's two tablespoons because it calls for one tablespoon. Just filled up my olive oil thing. Okay, one. Two. And how much sugar do we need? One cup plus two tablespoons of sugar. So, um, Let's wipe this off so it's not all. <clears throat> so that means we need two cups and two tablespoons. Oh, no, four tablespoons. Two cups and four tablespoons of um, sugar. I'm checking now, guys, so I don't get confused on that I didn't use the right cup. I found all the cups I just told you. Here's a cup. All right, so I need two cups of sugar. So that's one. Okay, combine hot butter, oil, and sugar together in a medium bowl. 
Alright, let's put this over here. Move this over here. One minute. Alexa, set the timer for one minute. Mm, All right, let's see how many eggs we need, guys. We need two eggs, so we need four eggs. So good. Alexa, stop. All right. Now we have to put the four eggs in. It's two eggs each for each batch. So, right? Two eggs, okay. So, four eggs. Um, okay, four eggs, right? So, I'm going to put the eggs, crack the eggs in here. Just to be safe. Because, you know... One, two, I don't know what I'm doing. Why well, I'm putting it in there. Keep putting it in there. Three. I'm so blue. I'm so blue. I'm so blue. All right, so four. Four eggs. No shells in them, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Everything out of it. Everything that comes out of here was supposed to be in there, so let's just get it all in there. Um, and then vanilla. Vanilla. I mean, the vanilla, I don't really have to measure because, you know, I'll put it when I want. Two teaspoons of vanilla, so... I'm pretty sure two teaspoons is one tablespoon. So I'll do two, ta two tablespoons of vanilla. And, you know, they have to be heaping. That's just the way I do it. <clears throat> All right, so we got the vanilla. So it says, uh, sugar and mean, and it whisks well for one minute. And, and eggs and vanilla beat until lighter in color. I soak the Lord, and He saved me. I soak the Lord, and He saved me. I love that song. The worship songs really I love, guys. I'm just so in love. I'm so in love with the Lord and His 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 Word and His glory and His warmth, and I just I can't spread it, you know. And I'm not forcing any, anything on anybody, but I just want everybody to know that. He's enriched my heart, my life, and just, I just can't, I can't even explain it. And if you, if you're, if you feel like I do, you, you'll understand. If you don't, then you won't. And that's okay. That's okay. Everybody has their own God and their own thoughts, you know, and their own beliefs. 
Alright, so light. That's light. Look at this guy. That's like yellow. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Alright, so we got that. Uh, let's do the next step. These brownies are amazing. Amazing. Um... Okay, now I have to sift in the flour, salt, and cocoa powder. All right, let me get my little strainer for me, and we'll do that. All right, guys, so it calls for sifting of flour and cocoa powder and the salt. So um, I need uh, half a cup. So I'm going to do two cups. What does AP mean, flour? Flour. Okay, I understand. I, I get it. One, one second. All right, so let's get this going. So I need a cup of flour. Where's that cup? Didn't I use that cup yet? This is the cup. Let's just double check because, you know... I just, I'm trying lately to really just be conscious of not making such a mess on myself because I tend to do that. All right, so, doesn't always work. I hate these containers. I still keep saying that I need to get, I need to get the wider containers, the big fat ones, because these just, I make, I make a mess because I have no other choice. I need those big, those, those big ones, like, you know? All right, so what did I say? I just needed one cup, right? Yeah, because uh, it's a half a cup. Let me just make sure, I have to double check this. Yes, so I need one cup of flour. All right, one cup of flour. Put the flour away now. Okay, so you don't make a big, big mess. Um, one cup of unsweetened cocoa. Alright, let's get the other thing that I did buy. Another one. Oh, I'll show you guys what I got too. I want to show you guys what I got. Um, so when I went to Walmart yesterday, I wanted to start like picking up stuff for baking, you know. And, um, one second. So one cup. All right. I gotta get more of this. I should have got another one of these. I'm gonna have to get another one just to be safe. Um, and salt, right? A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. All right, a quarter of a teaspoon. A quarter of a teaspoon. And here is an eighth. I think Lily got me these too, if I'm not mistaken. Lily, I love you, thank you. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. So I need two of these. One and two. I love it when the plan comes together. I just love it. All right, right. That's it. Let me just make sure I got everything. All right. Combine hot butter. I did oil and sugar. I did a medium bowl whisk well for a minute. Add eggs. I did vanilla. I did flour and salt and cocoa powder. I did gently fold into the wet ingredients. 
until just combined. Okay. Now, um, I can add a little bit of chocolate chips into here. Should I make chocolate chip brownies, Bill, or just plain? They're all horrible, right? I like them all. And now. All right, guys, why not? Why not? Let's just add some chips to it, right? See, this is why you sift, guys. But, see that? But, if I just do this, won't that just get right into it? Where's that spatula? If I just break it up, see? Yeah, so there you go. Perfect. All right, let's do that. Okay, so that's done. And let's get the chips. We'll put some chips in it. Why now? Oh, guys, you know what I have? Oh, boy. Let's see. I have, is this milk chocolate? I don't know. Lately, I've just been into the milk chocolate. Is this milk chocolate or semi-sweet? Oh, God, I have white, too. Should I put some white chocolate chips in it? Some vanilla chocolate chips? Yeah, this is milk chocolate. Maybe a little bit of both. Woo! Where is the scissor now? All right, guys. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it really... I probably could have made it Halloween colors, which would be what? Um, all different... That doesn't matter, right? It wouldn't really... Yeah, whatever. Orange and... Black. That's all right. All right. <laughs> just, just, just thinking out loud. Thinking out loud. Baby, we found love. Right where we are. Ed Sharon. All right. All right. You know, we're going all out, so we might as well. Oh, I wonder if I have any orange powder in there or something. Or orange anything in there that I could... Oh, I have white icing. But the thing is, is that I don't have any food coloring. I was going to buy it yesterday at Walmart. And I was like, it was like almost $4. And I'm like, oh, I'll wait a couple of weeks to get that. So I didn't get it. I wanted to save some money, whatever. But I'm going to have to do it anyway and get it in a week or two. So it doesn't even matter. I don't know why I just didn't get it. Because, you know, whatever. So, um... Uh, I might have some something up there that I can do some something with Halloween. I'll see. If not, it'll be fine the way it is. And then we'll do... All right. <laughs> now it says to just uh, mix this, fold this with your hand, with your spoon, and not to um, over, over um, mix it. Because that's how the brownies and whatever you, whatever kind of thing you're doing, guys, um, becomes um, tough if you over mix it. Right? No matter what it is, meatloaf, meatballs, cake, brownies, anything. You over bake it, you over mix it, and that's what happens. It becomes tough. Why does this feel so dry? I don't remember being so dry. Oh, there it is. It's getting a little wet now. Whew. It's thick. It's very, very thick. All right, I got to get the, uh, the pans, parchment paper. And these brownies, um, 
Definitely you need the parchment paper. Definitely. I've done them tonight. Uh, one time I did one with no parchment paper. I just greased it because I ran out of parchment paper. And it, it came out, but it was difficult. So with the parchment paper, it just makes it so much easier. All right, guys, see, so here we go. All right, let's see. Oh, see, it does say chop with, um, top with, with chunks or chips of chocolate. Mm-hmm. All right, do not overbeat. We'll make them tough. See, pour batter into the prepared pan. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's do this. Let's get these pans together. Now, I, this is how I do it, and I just do this because I like to be safe. Even though I'm putting parchment, and this also helps the parchment to stick, guys. Yeah, I'm at, I'm out of this now. Let me get my other one. What this one when I went to um, sand that last couple of times ago. I told you I'm not into the cooking sprays anymore, but I will buy the olive oil ones because I feel like those are okay. The avocado or the olives. So that's come on. That's what I buy. I don't buy the vegetable ones anymore. And they also say to get parchment paper. You know how sometimes parchment paper sticks? Uh, doesn't stick, you know, it, it, crum it, it comes up a little bit. Um, they say to do this, to crumple it. To crumble it, and this is how it works. I have a feeling I didn't make this big enough. I'm trying to say, I think I did. And then it, it, it just, it goes in easier. Yeah, I think I did good, yeah. So then this. It doesn't have to be perfect, even if it's, usually the brownie mixture is coming out, you know, coming off a little bit, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's not a perfect science, and it's, baking is, but you know, it's not the end of the world if that happens. And double travel, just a drop. That's what I do. Let's do one at a time. All right, so this is really, really like thick brownie mix. But I, I remember it being a little bit thinner. I don't know. I know I put everything right in it, so I'm not going to panic over it. But I could be wrong. I could be just re remembering another something else. All right, let's see. Let's do this one. Oh, I did that already. A joy, a joy, a joy, a joy, Linda. But you see how when you crumple it up, it's easier, It, you know.
right. Well, let's see. I think the other one's going to need more. I think this. These guys, like, you know, you think this is small, like, it depends on how you cut them. I mean, you could cut them in little, you know, little bites, or you could cut them big, but they're very, very rich, so you really, a, 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 like, a regular, like, small piece is enough, unless you're really, you know, and you could always go back for more, for more, <laughs> but they are amazing. I found this, I did this um, recipe once, and what the hell was that? What was that noise? What noise? I just heard like a crashing or something. Oh, oh maybe maybe the cats. Um, it's it's a really really rich recipe, but it's oh my god, I'm not even kidding. When I when I found it, I was like, I had this is the only recipe I make now, and I tell you, I I like I said, I used to buy brownie mixes and. And I'm not saying I never will again, and I don't. Like, if you go on my cabinet, I might have a, a cake mix for certain things, but um, just to keep in there. But I really, 95% of the time, make my own um, make my own stuff, my own homemade stuff now. You know, cakes and, and all that stuff. Because it really is so much more simple. And I found that, like, you know, sometimes I wanted to make a cake and I didn't, like, I couldn't get out to the store or whatever. And I thought, wait a minute, I can make my own cake. I have all the ingredients, the sugar, the baking powder, the baking soda. What do I need to, um, this one has a lot in it. What do I need to buy a cake mix for? I don't even need to spend the money, number one. Even if it's a dollar or whatever it is, a dollar twenty, you know, why do I need to do that when I have it? I have all the stuff to make it and it's homemade. And that's all I feel like I, I need to make now. That's all I want. That's like all I want to make. All right, so you spread this out. Those chips are going to be a nice surprise. I'm not telling anybody. I'm just going to, well, I'm going to put some on top too. Just spread it out as best you can. What was that smashing? Sounded like something smashed. Alright. Now, I am, I don't know about you guys, but comment down below. I like like nuts in my in my, some of my brownies. Like I like walnuts and, and pecans, but you know, you ple it's hard because a lot of people are allergic to nuts, number one, and, you know, it can good. be, yeah, it could be very dangerous. Morning, it could be very dangerous for people that you don't, you know, know, have nut allergies, whatever. Most people will say, is there nuts in this, whatever, but you never know, kids or whatever. Anyway, um, one time this, this winter, I'm going to make brownies or um, and cookies. I want to make oatmeal cookies and I definitely want to make brownies with um, with some walnuts and pecans. Banana nut cookies too. Banana nut cookies? I never made banana nut cookies. You made, you made muffins. Um, banana muffins I make, yeah. Uh, oh, with, with the nuts. With the, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Do you have macadamia nuts? I don't like macadamia nuts. Do you? You know what? I love like every nut in the world except uh, macadamia nuts I'm not crazy about and almonds I like but I really like slivered almonds not like the big almonds yeah, almonds and uh, walnuts are like oh I love walnuts and pecans oh I love them peanuts are I, I like but they're not my favorite and pistachios oh 
That's my number one favorite. All right, guys. Let's get the heat moving. All right, so that's that. I'm yeah. getting it as as um as level as I can. Like I said, it's homemade. I'm not gonna go crazy over, over stuff like that. What? Yeah. I'm not gonna go crazy over stuff like that. I can't because it's crazy. All right. And really, if you think about it, you know, now, especially, I mean, you could still get once in a blue moon when they have them on sale, which is rare. You used to be able to get, like, cake mixes and all that for, like, 99 cents. Not anymore. $1.49, $1.79, whatever. So, um, I can make how many batches of brownies and everything else and, and, and cakes and, you know, whatever with all that, with a big thing of flour for $10. It, it doesn't pay, you know. It doesn't pay, and it's so easy, guys. I don't want to ever hear from anybody you can't follow a recipe because that, all you got to do is follow the recipe, you know. And and even when you follow a recipe, sometimes it doesn't come out perfect. And you know what? That's okay. That's all right. That's okay because it's homemade, and everybody will love it anyway. Because it's homemade too. Because it's homemade. All right. <laughs> That's good. So I think that's pretty even. What do you think? Do you think it's pretty even or do you think this one needs a little bit more? No, I think it's good. I think it's good. All right. Okay. So let's get... What is it? We're tight? Too small? Yours? That in here. Yours? Woo! Try not to get any chocolate on my pink shirt. Did I do it? Did I do it? I don't know, guys. I don't think I did. No, I didn't. I think I'm good. I gotta get these eggs out of here. Next is gonna be this. Next is gonna be doing the eggs, guys. All right. Oh, well, this is this is annoying me here because this to me is just a little bit off. Look, look it. Yeah, I think this one definitely has a little bit more. I think I'm going to take some of that out. Just a little. All right. All right. Let's do this. Guys, like I said, this is for a party, so this is not something we eat every day. Let's pate, holla, happy Halloween. All right, done. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, 20 to 25 minutes. I think it's usually like 20 minutes. Alexa, set the timer for 20 minutes. There it goes. Yay. Yeah, I like to um, I like to cook them on the lower part of what they the timing is because I don't want them to be dry and these are very fudgy like these are cookies that, cookies these are brownies that kind of like fall apart almost they're so moist and delicious so I don't like to over bake them because then they become dry and I don't like a cake brownie I like a fudgy 
All right, guys, let me wash my hands and stuff, and I'll be back. Love All right, guys, so I'm in my pantry. I want to show you a couple things that I did get at Sam's yesterday. Not at Sam's. Well, yeah, some at Sam's. I don't know. Let's just show you. All right, I got this big bag of potatoes from Sam's because I was going to get it, and I forgot to get it at Walmart. I like their potatoes. Their, their, the bag is like, I don't know, five pounds or something like that, but it's really reasonable for something. This was um, at, when I when I forgot to get them at Walmart and I saw them at Sam's. This is 10 pounds, but um, I have, I, we eat a lot of potatoes. We really do. Ooh. Ooh. Let me show you. But the problem is that I just realized too, god darn it, is that I did have this still from when I got home. I realized this was a five pound from Walmart that I bought a couple of weeks ago and we still have it. So. I got this bag and I got 10 pounds. Yeah. So I, I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to watch them, keep an eye on them. I probably will. I think, do you think they'll be good until Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yeah. It's only what? like two weeks. What? The potatoes. I think potatoes so. It's good for like a whole month. Right? I'm pretty sure a month, a month and a half. You can use it. I have, like I said, I think I'll be able to eat. I think that they'll, that they'll be fine until, um, until Thanksgiving. 10 pounds of potatoes. <laughs> But we, you know, th that bag right there, like, we'll eat, you know, probably half the bag by the time that comes. And I, I think it'll be fine. I, I'll definitely utilize them. I will not let them go bad. If anything, I can chop them up, freeze them, and use them as French fries. You know, make French fries and just freeze them. I could do that. So. Are you making some fun this week? What, French fries? Yeah. Yeah, I'll make French fries. So that was from Sam's that I got from Sam's. I, I spent $125 at Sam's, and I got, like, five things. I'm not even kidding. But, oh no, I spent, yeah, yeah, I spent that, yeah. Um, so that was from, that's from Sam's. I got cinnamon from Walmart. I wanted to get the, what do you need to do? All right, so this, uh, I wanted to get the big tubs of, of like sprinkles in the, in the, I should have looked at freaking Sam's. I didn't notice them at Sam's though the last time I was there of sprinkles. So, um, but they didn't have them at Walmart. They only had this size. So I got two greens and I got two reds because for Christmas, we use a lot of sprinkles. Jenny, you know, when she decorates her Christmas cup. What? Is it expired? Oh, Frank. Well, body history, How I long is it? How old? Over a month. Oh, I'm sorry. I have my dressing back there. Which one? The ranch one. You put it back here yesterday. It's up top. I can't reach it. You're going to have to reach it. All right. So um, I got interrupted by the family. Um, but anyway, I wanted to buy the big tubs. They didn't have them. I did see them at ShopRite a while, like three months ago. And I remember saying to my husband, they were in the produce section. I said, I got to get these for the holidays. I didn't want to get them then because we couldn't afford it, number one. And number two, um, it was too early. So anyway, I bought these because when Jenny does her cookies too, mainly Jenny just, you know, uses a lot. And I don't want to, it's Chris, it's the holidays. I don't want to have to say to her, you know, I say, Jen, just be careful, but I don't want her to have to worry about it. So anyway, I got two of these, and I think I have a red sprinkles in the in the other cabinet in there as well. Um, so yeah, and um, I saw this. This was a good buy, and I like to have these for my, um, for making what? Olives. For making um, my, like, uh, baking goods that I'm going to be making for the people, for my, for my gifts and stuff. So anyway, I got these at Walmart. just to have in my arsenal. Um, what else did I get yesterday at Sam's? Oh, we got um, my the stuff that I got. Frankie got some stuff too, but yeah. Um, I got, um, if you can see, Billy eat, Billy drinks the, um, the, ga the Gatorades, you know, for work and stuff um, on the bottom there. He gets the Gatorades, and they have a really good buy there at um, at Sam's for them. Um, what else did I get at Walmart? Um, Julie's making or um, Julie's making her famous pasta salad today to bring to the Halloween party tonight. So I got um, she wanted you know she puts olives in it, so I got her the, the sliced olives at Walmart. Um, at Walmart as well, I did get a few things. I got sliced carrots. Once in a blue moon, I like to make like a quick. 
like that broth I have in there. I'm gonna make like a little, during the week, I'll make like a little soup. And I will put, I like to have some carrots and just, I don't wanna have to wait for the raw carrots to cook and everything else. So I like to have a can of carrots in here. Once in a while, I just like to cook them and eat them with butter with dinner, you know, I like that. So I had the, I bought those. Um, I also did get a, a can of olives. I got one can of the, of the, of the good, expensive one. <laughs> which was like, um, these are like a dollar 79, which is well, so to me outrageous, but I usually get the store brand, but you, to me, I really feel like you can taste the difference. Like the store brand is good, is, is good and is okay, but you could definitely taste the difference in the pearl. So I figured, let me get one good, cheap, one expense, you know, one good, good, good one. And then one ch cheaper one, um, which is still sufficient. Once in a while, you gotta treat yourself, guys. It's something that you like. You little, you know what? Um, I got two cans of corn because we need one for the um, we need one for the salad, and then I needed another can of corn for the house. Where is that other thing of olives? Well, I know I have it here. I got a thing of icing because it was something I wanted to make with icing. I think it was Billy's cupcakes. And I didn't want to have to make real frosting this time, so I'm just, uh, I'm going to have, I might, I might make real frosting. Um, oh, and the brownies are done, guys. They came out amazing. I'll show you them in a minute. Um, I, uh, if I don't feel like it, I have this to have, to make. So I just picked up that. Oh, they had, um, I wanted chicken and rice soup. I love chicken and rice soup, and I, I can make that myself, and I have. But once in a while, I'm just like, in the, like in the evening or for for lunch soup goes very well with, with with the gastric sleeve it really does basically you just have to watch the um the liquid because if you fill up on the on the broth then you have to be careful of the rice that you know of the the stuff that you eat with it but anyway i love these and it usually lasts me uh, i never i hardly ever buy the campbells one uh, certain things like tomato soup and all that but i don't mind the, the um i don't mind the store brand i buy the store brand it's like 79 cents so I usually buy the uh, buy the chicken and rice, and they didn't have it. They didn't have it in Progresso, they didn't have it in Campbell's, they didn't have it in in the in the store brand. So I was really upset. So and I was really upset, but I'm saying I, I wanted it. I wanted it. So I couldn't find it. So I got one of the I splurged and got a dollar fifty Campbell's um, for I got chicken and stars, and because I'm not really crazy, honestly, guys, about chicken in in these soups because. I feel like they're either too big or, the, and sometimes when they're too big, they're a little tough. But once in a while, like um, the Progresso, even the Progresso can tend to be like that a little bit. But I, I love those. I like like Chikorina and the wedding soup and all that. I make those homemade soups, but sometimes let's face it, I'm just not gonna make a pot of wedding soup. Or I'm not gonna make a pot of Chikorina. You know what I mean? And it's just, sometimes I like to have these in the house. And you know, they're, they're loaded with sodium and they're not that great for you. But one, once in a while. Oh my God. Um, so I bought the chicken sauce and then my son was with me. He's like, oh my God, look at the spicy tomato. So I got a spicy, they just got one. I'm like making sure nobody eats it cause I want to taste it. Um, but yeah, I got one spicy Campbell's tomato. What else did I get? I'm sorry, honey. I should have covered it really. Are you on video? Yeah. Can you no. pause it? Uh, oh, yeah, I got tomato sauce, tomato sauce, tomato soup, but that was the other day. Where are my other olives? Did I put them up here, really? Yeah. Are these, well, I don't know. Frankie got a lot of fruit, cans of fruit. Um, I don't know where, the, oh, here they are, here they are. I got these, see? These. I haven't gotten my canned potatoes. I got to get those, I haven't gotten those. Oh, I got two cans of tuna, because I was running low on tuna fish. So uh, I only had two cans, so I got two more cans. Because we, I, I go through phases with tuna. Oh, I love it sometimes. Um, let me see. That I think that's all I got from, I got a lot of stuff from Walmart, but what else did I get? Oh, I got some produce from Walmart. I'll show you that. Oh, I got beets. Did I show you I got beets? I love beets in my salad sometimes. So I got beets from Walmart. Um, okay, from Sam's, I think that I, I, got, other, I got other stuff, but what, what the heck oh, was it? Oh, God, now he's singing. 
Um, I got a 12-pack uh, of soda for Bill for uh, Diet Coke. Oh, I forgot to get little, the little minis for Jenny. I got to get... Jenny, when she comes here, likes a little cup of soda. Um, so, so uh, I forget. I want to get the, like, the, the little Mwah. minis for her Mwah. so this way she has them. Mwah. Get lost. What else did Mwah. I get from Sam's yesterday? It's my puppet. Alright people. My husband had the, the, the music, the television blasting and playing music and all that. So I said, you know what, you gotta put your headphones in. So doing that because I don't want to disturb the video. Uh yeah, this is um Okay. Alright, so here are the brownies. I have one covered, it looks exactly the same, but here you go, see? Look at how nice. So, I'm gonna show you from over here. All right, people. Okay. Um, so let's take this. Ooh. Now here's the parchment thing. Now look how easy, guys. Look. See that? The parchment. And sometimes I'll save these. Like I hey, 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 hey. Give me a second, because now I gotta feed the beastie boy because he's gonna go destroy my water cooler again. Alright, guys. Now it's very moist, so it's it, just be careful. Like, look at it. Oh my god, they look so amazing. I'm wondering, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit all these in here, right? I don't know, let me see, to take them, to take them to um, the pate. Oh, I also wanted to do, oh, I don't think I do. I have, um, oh, these things are constantly falling out. You know what I needed? I needed the gel, the gel, um, the gel icing. God darn it. Where's that other thing? I just had it. Now, if I do that, then I'm not going to be able to um, put them on top of each other. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see. All right, let's, let's cut it. Cooper, you better eat that darn food. All right. If I do that, then it's going to be... What is this? This is orange. Oh, this is, is this is food coloring or is this? Oh yeah, this isn't gonna work. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. All right, let's cut these now. I think we should cut them like this. What do you think? Cause like I said, guys, these are very, should I use the serrated knife? I think I should use a serrated knife, huh? Do it like this, or? And then we're gonna, we're gonna turn this around. Do it. So this one's a little bit, This these are a little bit bigger. fit all these in here guys now I gotta find another container to put them in because these are not this isn't gonna cut it right maybe it will maybe it will let's let's 
let's see. Where's the little spatula that I just had in my hand? Didn't I just go get that spatula or I didn't get it? Oh, I went to get it. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. Let me see something. I'm going to put... to the bottom, so let's do this, okay, utilizing, utilizing something that we have already, okay, let's make this a little bit shorter, I think these are gonna, I think it's gonna fit in here, I really do, yeah. Oh my God, guys, look at that. Look at that shit, stuff, stew. Happy dance. <laughs> Happy dance. Six. Yeah, they'll be only be like I think they'll only be um wait two four five six seven eight nine huh there'll be about ten of us there I think nine or ten of us and there's twelve here I don't know is that shumbadi you know what shumbadi means does it look cheap I don't want it to look cheap maybe I can cut cut another piece out of the other one. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oops, that piece fell off. Uh, what am I going to do with it? Eat it. Mmm. <laughs> Guys, I don't even want to say anything, but they're amazing. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit another one. They're so good. Oh my God, these are amazing. They're amazing. All right, where's the scissor? Perfectly. I knew my I knew my senses knew that it would fit. I just it looked like it wouldn't, but my senses were telling me that it would. Guys, look at this. Look at that perfection. I have to eat this. Alright. Okay. There we go.
Oh, Linda, Linda. Brownies for the pate. There's two eggs that I can flush. Right, I gotta do my um, I gotta do my deviled eggs, guys, right after this. The other brownies. <sighs> really, Val? What? What do you say? Can you say excuse me at least? Excuse me? We're on, we're on video. We're not on. It's an M. I'm going to keep for later and I'll cut ours later. I don't have time for that. Choo choo choo. Chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. I have a knife in my hand, people. Choo choo. So, what are you going to do with the knife? You're going to stand me? Give me a chance to say excuse me, young lady. Oh. Now he's blowing his nose. Oh, sorry, I just had wings. All right, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I don't know if you've ever seen this trick before, but I have. Okay, I use this. Um, my husband took this one out of the refrigerator. It has, like, this much in it. This one he took, he opened up a new one. I don't know why he just didn't finish this one, but anyway... So I went to throw this out. Hey! Mommy said no. Come on, you wanna go out? Come on, you wanna go outside? Go out? Come on, come on. Cooper, come on. Cooper. He's just being really ridiculous right now. No, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm just always tending to these, to these animals. He, he just got finished eating. I'll open up the door. He's coming back in here. Smashing at the at the water cooler again, so I had to give him his food again. It's like back and forth, back and forth. Drives me up the wall. I gotta fix this. I gotta tighten this. I'm gonna do that in a minute. You okay? okay? All right. So anyway, this is what I do, guys. All you do is you turn over the other thing. I've done it with ketchup and mustard and all kinds of things. Just be careful with glass. Keep it on a keep it safe. But yeah, I just put it on there and it stays as long as nobody hits it. Like for five minutes and all that stuff that's in there, you can get into the other thing so you, you don't waste it. Even sometimes you can put a little bit of water like in ketchup and just shake it and add it if you want, if it's too thick. But this, I'm telling you, you save pennies. Even if you save pennies, you're still saving stuff, right? <laughs> you gotta do everything today. All right, so I'm bringing you over to the sink because I'm going to peel the eggs now. Now, I'm gonna move this. When I do my eggs, I didn't wash it yet. When I do my eggs, um, I boil the water. I put them in for 10 minutes. I put a little bit of corn, of, of cornstarch. Is it cornstarch? Oh. Telling me he wants to go out. I just let I asked him to go out and he wouldn't go out. He wanted to, he was not going with that stuff. I don't know if you're him as he's still here. Well, let who let Brody eat. Cooper's coming through. Well, he'll be fine. He won't fall. Well, okay. Um baking soda, not cornstarch, baking soda. A little bit of baking soda and a little bit of salt what into the doing? into the shells. He's I, I think he's lost some of his marbles from the seizures. I'm not even kidding. I really I really I really believe that. Um, boil it. I, I let the water boil. I put the, the eggs in for 10 minutes and then take them out and let them cool off. The eggs peel amazingly 99.9% of the time. So they're deviled eggs, so I want them to peel nice because I want them to look nice. So if it takes salad, you know, it, it is what it is, it is what it is anyway. You know, there have been times that I've made egg, eggs for, um, for uh, deviled eggs and they don't, they haven't come out great and I had to make more or, you know, it happens. There's nothing is perfect, so. Brody's eating. Brody is normally, doesn't eat dry food during the day. Brody eats once a day and that's just how he eats and he has his moist food once a day, but since being with us, a lot of times when Brody was coming to visit, every time Cooper would eat, because Cooper's on a different schedule and different amounts and all that, I would feel guilty, so I'd give Brody a little bit of dry food. And now, Brody eats the, a lot of the time he eats the dry food. 
The only thing is, is that if he eats when sometimes when he eats his um, moist food, he had a couple of times he had a um, he had a stomachache. He threw up. So I think like I got to tell Julie now because he ate a lot of food today. So I'm going to tell her give her half, give him half of his moist because his belly is tiny. His isn't like Cooper, you know. He's he's small. So I don't want him getting sick again. So I'm just going to I'll tell her that. Um, yeah. So you see how easy that peel? I'm telling you, you bang it slightly. You don't kill it, but bang it slightly. Now his food. Now he's back. He's, you bet he's back with his food. Yeah, he just built all the floor, and now and he's look. coming on the chair. <laughs> Guys, look. look, look. Billy put it back in there, and look, he 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 emptied his food, acted like he wanted it again, and now he's sitting on the chair. Look, look. What are you doing? I think you have dementia. I think something's not right with those brain, with that your brain, or something, buddy. I'm not kidding. I think he really has a little bit of dementia from the um, from the seizures. From I, the seizures. yeah, I really believe that. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for that. All right. So now, like I said, it usually comes right off. If he, if it feels a little tough, dip it in the water again, or even run it under the water. But eventually, it does it does come off. Just be careful. When you do it, if this one's a little bit tougher and you want it for uh, deviled eggs, be a little gentle with it. If you don't, you can make a little hole in it or whatever. It's not going to, even now, it's not going to, you know, you're going to survive it. So look, see how it comes off big? That's what you got to do. You got to just try to get a little piece that comes off right big. And I rinse them in the water and then I'll recheck them later because there's nothing worse. Yeah, see, that's a shell. There's nothing worse than biting into an egg with a shell. Oh, yeah, really. oh that, really. that is the most disgusting thing. I don't know why I find it so volatile, like so disgusting, but it really just turns my stomach. Like, I, 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 mean, I can't, I don't understand why, but it does. Anyway, so I gotta make sure that there's no shells. You know, such is life, it happens, but. So, like I said, just try to get a little part of it, and then you just, you know. But I find, like, I used to make eggs completely different. My mom used to, we used to put them in cold water, let it come up to a boil for 10 minutes, and then she'd let it sit for 10 minutes. This way, and, and it was always hard to peel them. This way, I find I got a tip from somebody or something, in, in, somewhere on YouTube or something, and I tried it, and I've been, I love it. I love it. This is the, the surefire way. Of not having any issues. First, they said to do it six minutes. I did it six minutes. No, it was definitely a, uh, it was soft. Then I then I did eight minutes, and eight was um, a little bit on the softer side too. And then I said I'm going to do ten minutes, and ten minutes is the perfect amount. Ten minutes is the perfect boiling out after the water's boiling. So that's for how I do it. Try it if you don't. You know, everybody has their own sure file prior way. Well, like, like I said, my mom always, I always did it the way my mom did it. But, you know, sometimes you find a different way that might be a better way. And, you know, you know, the thing is, like, too, her mom did it, probably did it that way. Her mother did it that way. You know, everybody learns from their parents. And, you know, it might not always been the best way. So, yeah. Just another tip of the day. A tip of the day. Oh my God, guys, I'm listening to this worship music. It's called Elevation Worship. Now, there are some, so I'm, I'm more of a ballad kind of girl. I don't like those fast, like, kind of worship songs. I mean, I do, they're okay, but I prefer a, 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 a um, I don't want to say sad, but I prefer a more of an emotional song with worship. I just, that's just me, and I like them, and they make me happy, they make me sad, they make me cry. Like tomorrow, I think I'm going to go to my, my church for the first time in, in a very, very, very long time. I usually watch it online. I think tomorrow, I say that now, but I'm not sure. I might go to the church tomorrow. But every time that I go there and I go to the, I go to the, the things and I listen to the music, I, I always have to have my tissues because the songs are just so emotional. They just make me bawl my eyes out. And I was listening to this one, this song before that I had, I paused on. 
I didn't even want to stop listening to it. It made me so emotional, but I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah. So, it's called Elevation Worship. And like I said, I skip like the, whenever I hear a song that doesn't really appeal to me, I just say Alexa next, you know, and, and Alexa changes it. And then we find a song that we like, and I listen to it. And sometimes I listen to it over and over and over again. But I do that with all my music, so. All right, so I made 10 eggs. I don't know, I was being a little cheap. Not cheap, but a little skimpy, I'll say, you know, Sometimes I make too many and then I have too many. So I only made 10. I probably should have made a dozen. Did I make a dozen? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight. No, I did make 10. Because I thought to myself, well, if I need to make two more, I'll just make two more. Um, so, but it's fine, you know. Boiled eggs you can make in an instant. Ten minutes it takes and it's done. So I'm not worried about it. I have a lot of time. It's only two o'clock. So everything's done. The brownies are done. I'm so glad I could do this video for you guys today because I didn't want to not have a video for you guys. Um, I did put the fall food Friday up yesterday. <clears throat> next week I say this, but again I'm definitely gonna do another um, next week this Friday. Oh, I think this is gonna be the last fall food Friday, isn't it? Yeah, this will be the last fall food Friday. So I'm going to do a savory dish. I'm not going to do a, 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 a sweet. I'm going to do something savory, something special for the last one. And um, and I'm going to, I'm probably going to do a couple of Croctobers, even though Cro October is going to be done. I'll do a couple in November. It's not a big deal. November and especially, um, well, November, you know, I get ready, start getting baking going and cooking for the, Thanksgiving, and then after Thanksgiving is when we go full force for Christmas, you know. But um, Thanksgiving, um, I make apple pies and all that, but the apple pies I'm not going to make till that week. And um, I might make like a pudding pie or something like that. Not sure. But uh, Thanksgiving isn't too, isn't too, like, there's not too, too much to make. Um, until about that week, like Thanksgiving is on a Thursday, Tuesday, uh, start doing everything, bless you, start doing everything, I'll make the apple pies, I'll, um, start making, like on Wednesday, all my, my stuffing and just everything prepared, because I can't do it every, I can't do it on, on that day, I used to do it years ago when I was younger, even raising the kids, the kids are running around, you know. It's just, it's, it's, I can't do that anymore. It's just way too stressful. And I like to sit down and enjoy, bless you, and enjoy my family, and just enjoy the, the parade and all that stuff, so. Julie, um, every other Thanksgiving will go to her in-laws, and she went there last year, so this year is our year, so I'm very happy about that, because Thanksgiving is a very, very, very important holiday in my world and, and in our world and so what we'll do is um we'll have a little thanksgiving after julie's you know on another day um but yeah it's good christmas eve julie's always with us because his family doesn't do anything on christmas eve she's always with us on christmas eve thank god because we um we have a big seafood dinner and all that and then christmas day we get up, we open up our presents, so she, um, you know, she, she's, she's here anyway, but she would have slept here anyway, like last year. Um, we open up our presents, and then um, hubby runs and gets bagels. We have bagels, and then um, I, we cook, and then they go to her, they go to his in, her, his in, her in-laws for Christmas Day, uh, which is, is, you know, is something I had to get used to because I really enjoyed having them and her on Christmas Day, but... I got to share, I guess. Just like the grandchild, I'm going to have to share. I don't know how I'm going to do that situation when that happens. But I guess I'll have to. I'll have to. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys. Yeah, so yeah, so that's, so that's the plan for the holidays. Holidays are very, very done, very big in my house. I try my best. You know, there's only like, what, six of us. And I say, oh, I'm not going to make a huge turkey. There ain't no making less than a 20-pound turkey, guys. You know, there just ain't no doing it even more. 
and you know but i have definitely reeled in on the sides and stuff i make less potatoes less of all that stuff because like i used to make two bags of stuffing that those bags of stuffing you know how much that makes it could fill three turkeys i'm not even kidding three 20 pound turkeys now i'm i'm conservative i make the one the one bag and i'm telling you i have left over I don't make as many string bean, you know, not as much string bean casserole. I don't make as many sweet potatoes because it's only me and Julie that eats the yams or whatever. So, and I make a little, maybe four potatoes, you know, four large like, potatoes. But anyway, everything is scaled down, okay? Everything is scaled down. But you'll see on how it is. If you're new here, you'll see. If you're not new, you'll know what's going to happen or you might forget and, and you'll be reminded. Anyway, all right, guys. So this is definitely done now, okay? Look, I would assume. Now pick it up, see here. Look, and all that is out of there. All that is out of there, and it's completely empty. And that's what you do to save a little moolah. You gotta say, today, today, sorry. Today you have to save every little bit, I'm sorry. Always, but today especially. Because that could be, that right there, what I put in there, was probably like two dips of um, chicken wing or something, you know? Oh, it all helps. Every little bit helps. All right, enough of that. Let's get going on doing these eggs. Now, let me see something. Um, oh, I got to find my egg holder. Oh, guys, give me a second. All right, guys, so I cannot find my favorite, favorite um deviled egg holder and I got news here after this video later on this evening I'm going to go on Amazon and I'm going to order one of my I'm going to order it again because this right here I have this I bought at the Dollar Tree this um is broken but one, it, it did stay on now it's not staying on at all and this is the only one I have with a cover other than that other one thought I put it downstairs I thought I put it in um in the back room it's nowhere to be found and it's the only one I really like because it has a nice, it's square and has a nice cover on it. I just don't know where it is. I don't know why it's not right downstairs with all my other stuff. It's just, what is going on with this? But it's not. I just cleaned this whole thing. I think I put it on something. Um, and so I'm going to use this one until Billy comes out. I'm going to see if he knows where it is, or maybe he can look at another place in the back room, maybe it got put back there, I don't know. But, um, if worse comes to us, I could just put foil over this and hold it, you know, on the way there if I have to, but it's just annoying, it's annoying. I have this, let me see something. Two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes, there's twelve. Twelve. This, this is really cute too, but this doesn't have a cover or anything. This is for the house, and I bought this for Easter one year. You know that I used it for for a video or whatever. But yeah, I also have a big, beautiful, um, like heavy ceramic egg deviled egg holder, but it's not one that I want to travel with. That's something that I would use at home when I have a big party which is very rare. Um, I'm trying to think where else. Let me look at one more spot for that thing. One more spot. All right, guys. Well, it's gone. Who the hell knows where it is? It'll come up one day probably when I'm not looking for it. That's how it always happens. Um, so I'm just going to use this, and I'll see if I can get the plastic cover on. If not, I'll just put tin foil over it. Not the end of the world. But anyway, yeah, so let's get started. All right, so let's cut the, um, the eggs. And this is what I do. Cut them in half like this. Get rid of any of the yellow stuff. I like them to look pretty. Please, you better see these when I went to my um when I went to my cousin's that time, the cousin's party. It was a last minute thing. And I wanted to bring something and I had just made hard boiled eggs. So I said, Oh my god, I'm gonna make deviled eggs. Well, I literally ha I thought I had like ten minutes to make them and it ended up I had like an hour, which I didn't know, but anyway. Um, they look, they were delicious, but they look a mess. I was mortified. Mortified. <laughs> so, I like them to look pretty. Uh, 
I do a basic deviled egg. I don't go crazy with all the other ways people do it. Put this in it, put that in it. Now my eggs are just, my deviled eggs are very simple but delicious. And um, there's always a debate in my house, do, do, do I put onion in it or don't I put onion in it? So either I put shredded onion in it because my family doesn't mind that. See, that's what I didn't want. That, that's okay. It's not going to professional, you know, it, nobody's judging me. Um, I, uh, I particularly like the onion in it, but very, very fine, or if not, shredded. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to put in the shredded, the little shredded onion, because I feel like onion. All right, so there are the eggs. They're cooked perfectly, as you can see. Look at the yolk, not too dry, definitely not wet, of course, and not too dry. I don't like a dry yolk, but that's just me. All right, so put, uh, carefully, if the eggs are, um, the eggs are perfect, they're not all broke, you know, ripped or anything, so it'll be easy to get the yolks out. Sometimes, you know, the egg breaks, and sometimes you have to either chuck it or eat it or you know what I mean it can't the, the the filling's not gonna stay in it but if it's not per it doesn't have to be perfect and what I do too guys is I always salt if when I remember I salt my um my eggs before I fill them because um it's just they need to be seasoned you know you want everything to have flavor flavor I don't really put these in any specific way you know they don't really have to be going a certain way it's not, you know, if it was a, if it was a rate, if it was a test, like if I was trying to win an award, then maybe I would, you know, do them perfect. But I'm not. I'm just trying to make cute deviled eggs. But these have been a hit for years. I'll never forget. We used to go to my sisters and my brother-in-law, my ex-brother-in-law, who's passed on now. He died like two years ago. I think it's been two years, a year, two years. It's so sad. Anyway. Um, he would raise, you bringing those eggs, Lynn, right? Everywhere I go, you bring your eggs, right, Lynn? Everybody just dies for them. Well. Now, um, there's 12 in here. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, mm, last time I think I bought more and they didn't go. So, maybe I'll just do the 12. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bring any more than that. Or I could stick two in here. What should I do? What should I do? What? I can tell you what I'm going to do right now. Is I'm going to eat one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll bring... Two more. I'll show you another trick too. If you want these to stay, you know how they're like rounded and they slide around like that? If you want them to stay, just do it like this. Take a really sharp knife. This isn't too sharp, I guess. And just make like a little devit in it. Oh, I'm not even showing you guys. I'm sorry. Just like cut a little slice in it. And then it'll stay, right? See? It doesn't move around. So just take a knife. And just do that. Okay? And this way, it'll basically stay. I mean, it'll move around a little bit, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Mm, 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 mm. All right. These I'm gonna put in here. Mm. 
need to just be eaten for hard boiled and salads and you know munching like I just did. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna put. I think this is kosher. Oh, I missed one. Guys, I missed an egg. Oops. Jenny always does the paprika, but Jenny's not here. And Jenny's not coming because she has her own plans. She went to a Halloween party last night. She's doing some stuff with her friends today. And then tomorrow she has another Halloween party. I'm glad my baby's having a good time and living life. That's what you want to see for your kids. You want your kids to be having, enjoying life. And yeah, that's exactly what you want. All right, so let's smash this. Now, sometimes I just spoon them in. Today, I think I'm going to do the little, put them in a the little Ziploc bag. Because I feel like making them pretty. I could put a little orange, um, last time I made them spooky. I did make them spooky last time. Last year, last time we went to the party. Yeah, I forgot about that. I'm not doing that. But I might put a little orange, um, I wonder if I should do orange food color in here. Nah, I don't think I'll do that. I'll figure something out with them. <coughs> All right. So if you're going to put it through a bag especially, you got to try to make sure the lumps are out. If they're really big lumps, then it won't go through the, the hole in the bag. You know, I've had that done before. You know, I've done that before. But it's, it is what it is. All right. So let me get an onion. I think I'm gonna have a half an onion in the um in the refrigerator. So I've been in the kitchen basically on and off since what? I don't even know what time. 12, 11 something? Yeah, like 11, 15 I think. On and off since um getting up this morning. And that's fine. I'll rest after this. I'm gonna rest for a couple hours and then <coughs> we might just have something light to eat because Usually she makes, um, the, you know, my friend makes like nashis and we have all kinds of nashis and stuff, but we don't have anything really solid. So we might eat just a little something here and then, or no, I think we're going to have maybe a snack here and then when we get home later, we'll have a little something, you know, whatever. We just had a little, we just had chicken wings like a half, like an hour ago. So I think we're good. So we'll just nosh and then we'll, um, later we'll have a little snack a sandwich or something like soup or some whatever we want. Um, so what was I going to do? What was I going to do? Oh, I want to, um, I have to get an onion and I have to get, um, the mayo. Um, I don't know. all right, let's see if I have onion in here. I, it usually comes to the point where if I can't, if I don't see the onion immediately, guess what people, guess what? I'm going to cut another one and I don't see it. So guess what? Yep. Mm -hmm. I gotta get the mustard too. I put a little mustard in mine, just a little bit. Let's get an onion. spicy mustard in it today. I either use yellow or, you know, the spicy. I feel like spicy today. Just And it's just a little. Uh, no, that's honey mustard. We don't want honey. I got 40,000 mustards in here. Honey Dijon. Honey mustard. Spicy mustard, my son. This is a spicy one. This is the, um, the, uh, the stone ground mustard. No, I don't want that one. Hallelujah, here's the winner. Spicy mustard. Okay. 
Let's turn you this way. All right. Hallelujah. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to, I definitely want to shred the onion, but we have to cut it up first. Can you guys see over here? Let me put this light on. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Okay. This knife could be a little touchy. Shouldn't use this knife for an onion. But I did. Not a good idea. Right. <coughs> Sometimes I drink the ice, the crystallite iced tea or the or the snaffle zero. Um, it gives me a little like a cough. It's weird. I don't know, maybe the powder doesn't mix up all the way, and I think that's what it is. The powder gets like in my throat. Alright, look at that. Guys, I have to show you this picture. I gotta bring it up on my phone. I took a pe picture of a pepper, of a pepper that um, had two little peppers inside of the pepper. It's the cutest little thing. Wait till you see it. I gotta remember to show you guys. Alright, so let's do that. Let's. I'm gonna get my, um, my lemon, like, um, zester that I use to use to shred this. This is my um, other one. This is not my favorite one, but that's um, that's fine. I don't need that other one for this. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to shred it. Now what happens is the juice as well of the onion comes in it. And it has the onion flavor, but it doesn't have the big chunks of onion. Because I honestly, I love onion. Like, I like to bite. Ooh, I love raw onion. I love raw cooked onion. Oh, my God. But um, I, in certain things, I just like the little flavor of it. I don't like the big chunks in it. And this happens to be one of them. Deviled eggs. So I'm going to take any of the big pieces out. There's no big pieces. And this is what I got. I saw the Lord. And he saved me, I saw the Lord, and he saved me, I saw the Lord. I think that's plenty, well, you know, I think I need to drop more. I think a drop more would be sufficient. Just a drop. And now it just has egg all over it. That's all right. There we go. All right, good. God darn it. All right. The only thing with the shredded is, um, it, you know, you got to get it out of here. But that's all right. All right, my eyes, my eyes are here. All right, let's get a paper towel. I'm just gonna throw this out because it has egg all over it. Let's get the rest of it thrown out here. Guys, if you're looking for a Christmas present for somebody, this is it right here for somebody that really is in the kitchen a lot, I'm telling you. Go on Amazon. Oh, look, I got chocolate on. I got to wash it. Go on Amazon. Look it up. It's it's in, it's in there. Somebody, I gave their, somebody the recommendation, and they I didn't think they bought it. Amazing. Amazing. Come on. Oh, my God. It's just the biggest helper. This is like... The garbage bowl, you know, like the, this is the garbage can. It's a garbage can, but it's like a garbage bowl. People keep garbage, like a bowl on the counter that you put the garbage. And I remember years ago, I learned that from Rachel Ray. Um, but this is what you need. This, you slide everything in. It, it's, it's the best thing ever for a woman, for a lady, even for a man. For anybody who's in the kitchen, a chef, 
Bring it on, guys. Bring it on. And it's under $20. It was when Billy got it. Maybe it's over $20 now. I don't know. I doubt it. It's amazing. I might actually get this gift for my friends. Get it as a gift for my friends. Certain people I'm going to send it to. All right, let's get a spoon. All right, so we got the onion, right? Um, let's put some salt. I don't. I think this is the kosher salt. Um, pepper. Let's put. Now there's certain things that I don't want to change the flavor of, so I'm not going to put any of my steak seasoning in here. Just because this is deviled eggs, and, and I've always made it a certain way. Not going to change that. So, onion powder, because we have onion in there, so we don't want a crazy amount of onion. Garlic powder. And I even put, even besides the mustard, um, where is it? I saw it yesterday, and I know it's not going to be right in my face right now. Because you know why? I want it. Hello? Oh, mustard. I saw the must ground mustard. Yeah, is it here it is? Is this it? It's going to be a miracle if it is. Oh, huh? A little bit of the ground mustard. This, I think, probably is expired. I probably got to get, I, I probably have a new one somewhere, because knowing me, but I have to search. Uh, but I don't even know how long ago I bought this, because I don't use it often. I don't use it often, but it, it could be recent, too, because I might use it for a recipe. All right. Um, now, I'm going to put paprika on top of it, but I also like to put just a drop. La, 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 la. Where is it now? Oh, paprika. Oh, paprika. Where is the paprika? <laughs> Ah, Lordy Lulu. I don't have any up here, right? Because nothing's filled. I know I've been saying it for weeks. Look, here's the paprika. No, here's the paprika um, thing. Oh, is this paprika? There is a drop in here, but it's not enough. But it's enough. It's really not even enough for this. Yeah, that's perfect amount for that, but... I have to find the paprika so I can put it on top of the eggs. But we'll do that in a minute. All right. So give this a little mix. All right. Julie was calling me. She wants me to put the pot up of water for her for the pasta salad that she's going to be making. So, yeah. All right. So this is good. Ooh, smells so amazing. Woo! I didn't put any mustard in it yet, though. See, I forgot. And like I said, I'm just putting a drop. Like a teaspoon, not even. Uh, yeah, probably about a teaspoon. And that's just to give it a little bit of a extra flavor and mayo. Now I'm gonna use uh, let's get right. I'm using my stainless steel pot. Tap on it. Put some salt in it. <clears throat> Let's wipe this off because it's laying over there on the counter, and you know. On this, sh on this thing over there, the shelf. Just want to make sure it's nice and clean, nothing on it, because we don't want gorilla in our food. All right. Yeah, for all that, that's not even the freaking top. After all that, it's not even the top. How can it not be the top? That's the biggest top I have. I know this. Uh, is this the top? This couldn't be the top, could it? I don't think this is big enough. I really don't, but I 
could be wrong. <laughs> this is no way this is a top. That's the top. <laughs> I was wrong. It was the smaller one. That's all right. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, that one is for the bigger frying pan. I have a big... I have a big frying pan, too. I have to show you. I don't know if I show you those. I think I showed you guys those pots. Um, all right. So let's get the mayo in here. I start out a little bit, a little bit light because I don't want it like... It has to be smooth. It has to be a nice amount of, of mayonnaise. Otherwise, it will not squeeze. You know, you will get it out. So you have to. But I don't want to go overboard. Yeah, see, that's kind of thick. I think it needs just a little, a drop more, but not an overly amount because I don't want it like soup or, you know, like salad dressing. It's got to be had a little chunk to it. That might be a little bit too much. There we go. I think that's probably it. I saw the Lord. And he saved me. We have brownie from my stomach. I sold the Lord. And he saved me. All right, Billy wants a freaking brownie. Oh, Billy wants a freaking brownie. Billy's a pain in the ass. Billy's a pain in the ass. No. What? I, I will divorce you. You wouldn't care. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm cutting it. I'm not doing it, though. I'm getting a paper towel. And you would never divorce me. I wouldn't? No, you wouldn't. Why? Because you love me. All these dance moves that I got and everything. Well, dance moves? You got dance moves, all right. No, I got moves. I got lots of moves. I don't know if they're good moves, but I got moves. You want middle or does it matter? Middle. I think you know that. I do think you have a cut already. I have a knife in my hand, people. You saw that, right? She's threatening me. That's not a middle. I need you to tell them how delicious these brownies are after. And what if they're not delicious? You have to lie. Oh, okay. I don't lie. I'm a Christian. <laughs> You're a jokester. Is what you're yeah, oh, shit. I didn't do that even, so these are bigger. Do you want one of those? Cut them you want in half. Cut them in half? They're not going to yeah. be too small? Oh. Those are little puny brownies now. Oh, darn it, eat those. Darren. Those would be Darren's Darren pieces. Five of them. Darren, those would be Darren's pieces. Maybe he gets not. one little tiny square. You have a plate or anything? Because these are very. I have a paper towel right here. Where oh, did you go? Yeah, very moist. Oh wait, this isn't it. Oh my nerves! I need it. I could have gotten it out already. I'm withering. Oh look, oh, look here's a straw. I'm withering. Is that gray in there? Is that gray there? It's right there. See the gray skinny one? Not the big fat one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, honey. You got Snickums. Which one do you want? This one? Give me a minute one. Bill, I'm going to punch you. Oh, she lost half my brownie. I'm not. Show them it, please. Show them uh, how delicious the way I something. Excuse me, that was mine. <laughs> do you want more or this good? I don't like that. Mmm. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Give me no piece. Oh. Um, more. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> Don't lose it. Guys. I think I... This is, this is heaven. It is so... I'm not going to say. It is so good. I oh, my God. It. Delicious, guys. Mm -hmm. better when they get cooler. Yeah. They're pretty... I mean, they've been out a while, but... I guess being like by the oven. Yeah. Let me put them over here so they're not so out of the heat. Because they're moist to begin with, guys. They're so amazing. All right. Yeah, this needs a little bit more. Otherwise, it's not going to spread. It's not going to come out. And then I'll taste it and see if it needs a little bit more seasoning. I'm thirsty. My my drink is not full. I gotta get a drink. I gotta make iced tea too. So. 
And then when you do, in my, you know, everybody does their devil egg differently, but when I do it, I still smash it because I just like all, sometimes I do it in my Cuisinart thing, but I don't have one yet. I got to get it. Um, and that other one is too small. So yeah, but um, I do that because I don't like really clumps of the yolk. Let's taste it. It needs a little bit more mayo. Mmm, but the flavor, the flavor is perfect. I'm going to put, believe it or not, I'm going to put a little bit more onion powder in it. Because I taste the onion, but it's not as strong. It's not as strong onion, onion flavor. And I'm also going to put some of the chopped onion in, the, the ground um this is onion right here. I'm going to put um, some of that, yeah, here it is, of the chopped onions. i got to buy more of this. I think this is the last of what I have. Because this, this is good because you don't, you don't, it, they're little shredded pieces. And people who don't like onions, like my, my, my daughter, it's perfect. Yeah, I think this is a good, I don't know. I think I might need a little bit more mayo. Because the I want the consistency to be, that's good. I want the consistency to be, you know what I mean? And I also am going to put a, a drop of seasoning in here. Just a little bit, because a lot of people don't like that, that texture. But I like it. All right. And it's not all about them. Alright, let's taste it with another finger. So yummy, guys. So yummy. Alright, guys. So, um, there's gonna be a little havoc right now. Um, so, um, here's the Ziploc bag, okay? Um, this is very self-explanatory. None of that. No, no, no getting cool. Crazy Cooper. All right, we're gonna put the egg. It makes a mess a little bit. You gotta throw. I want to get some of those bags, Julie. I'm gonna get some of those those bags. Piping bags. What? Piping bags. Yeah. They're very cheap. You don't have any, right? You used to have all that stuff. Don't you have any? I do have set? some baking stuff left, but it's in my storage. Mm. Yeah, we'll just bring, bring that stuff up. I don't know how that's all right. Do you keep that stuff when you? Yeah, I'm not bringing that stuff up. I don't, no room I don't for want it. you giving me everything that you had. I know he wants to give you everything. It's not just that. If you have the opportunity to use that right and you buy it, then use it. Well, no, but then she's, then you got to buy it. Well, you'd rather use it now because the price okay, is so high. Price. That's the point I'm trying to make. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I get where he's coming from. No, I understand. I get where he's coming from. That's very generous and very, you know, but... No, yeah, well, you're looking at it right now, you know. I, I don't want them to have to spend the extra money. Like, bringing her stuff that she's going to use for her new house or whatever. I don't want her doing that because then, then it defeats the purpose. She needs to have, you know. That's how a mother thinks, you know, a, a, a parent or whatever. Most people, anyway. Oh, i got to save a little bit of this. Well, yeah, I can do that. Yeah. I, don't, I don't have my big bowl that I use oh. to make my Where is it? Where is it? Well, you gotta go get it. Karen's down in there. You gotta go. It's gotta be somewhere right there. Mm. Guys, yes, I'm licking my fingers off of camera because here we go again. You know, people. Linda, you shouldn't be licking your fingers. They're right. They're right. But, you know, it's my kitchen, so. I can do what I want. All right. Hmm. So, watch, buddy. Brody's always where the food is. He's always where the food is. Cooper is not so much of a beggar. Brody stands right by me when I'm cooking because he knows I drop things. So I just made some crystal light lemon iced tea. Yeah. 
keep hydrated, guys. It's really important. You don't realize how important it is. All right, let's clean this off. Mm -hmm. Get all the air out. It's not going to do anything. I'm definitely going to get piping bags because this bag I know is going to give me aggravation. They always do. I don't know why I don't do it. I just got to buy it. Because I'll, I'll use them. You know, the type of thing that'll stick in my cabinet, I'll use once or twice a year, which is fine. I don't care. See, there's still air in it. The heck? Yeah. Got to get all the air out, otherwise it's not it's just. just makes it easier for yourself. It really does. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's good. See, the thing is, is like, sometimes it, it doesn't always work like it's supposed to with the Ziploc. Well, I'm going to go on Amazon because I got to order my egg, my egg thing. And I have to, uh, I'm going to get some piping bags on there as well. All right, so squeeze it to one side so this way. Hopefully, it'll work. Get that all the way down like that as much as you can. Okay, I already salted these guys. You saw me salt them. Unless you just hope it doesn't pop open because that's happened before. Now you see the thing is, you see this is what bothers me. Now this is what what makes it, what makes it what screw messes me up is this because there's. There's not really the tip. Like, where's the tip? Where's the tip, guys? Where's the tip? I I don't know what to do now. This is what I mean. This is what makes it difficult sometimes, is that maybe I'm using the wrong bag? Well, yeah, I'm using it. I'm sure I'm using a piping bag. So, like, when I do it, where's it going to come out? Like, it's going to come out right there? All right, let's see. Let's get the scissor. It's not going to be, I know it's not going to be perfect. Nice. I saw, I saw the Lord, and he saved me. All right, guys. I don't know how this is going to work, you see, because there's no really, there's no really, I don't know what to do. I guess put it there. All right, let's see if this works, guys. This ain't going to be perfect. I know it. See, look. Okay, then. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, just keep it like smushed. And I think it's going to be okay. As long as it doesn't have the two. A lot of times I have the two. I have a little two cuts. And then um, it comes out the other side. And then it's getting all over the egg. So that's what I was trying to prevent. And it seems to be working perfectly. That's all. And even if it didn't, guys, it's not. it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be as perfect as you want it to be. And it doesn't, and that's, you know, that's okay. I like them nice and full. Perfect. Look at that. The problem is, is that if that stupid top doesn't go on it, then I'm going to have to put, like, tin foil on it or something because this is what I'm talking about. I didn't, I didn't lick my finger, so I'll go keep saying, I licked my finger, Linda, and then you put it on the egg. Now I did it, people. 
Okay. All right. Let's put this here because I'm going to use it for a couple of those. Look how nice. Now I gotta find my paprika. Oh, it's gotta be in here somewhere. I know I have lots of chili powder. I bought it the other day. I know I bought it, so. I wanted to get it at Sam's, but we were in a rush and I just needed to get out of there last night. It was just, I wasn't, I was so tired. Walmart knocked me out. I can't do that kind of stuff twice. Like I can't do usually two things unless it's, you know. It just was a little rough, that's all. But anyway. This is going to go fl flying. I just said this is going to go flying. Guys, if you hear like yelling or a little curse in the video today here and there, my son's in the back room. He's watching a game or something. He's way, way back there, so you probably can't even hear him. But, you know, sometimes little things get through, and I miss them, or I don't edit, and I'm sorry, but it's real life, and it's not the end of the world. Nothing that's going to hurt anybody or anything. So, yeah. So, just a little sprinkle, sprinkle. Jenny loves to do this, but she does it. She does a lot. Whenever, whenever you know, you know when Jenny does the, the paprika because there's a lot. Just like with the sprinkles, but she means well and she loves to do it, so. Did you find it, honey? Yeah. Oh, good. We've had the bigger ones, I don't know where they Some, you know, guys, you like a certain bowl like you used to make oh. something and Julie was looking for her bowl. I really hope. Mom and I have these we can use. They're oh, all the nice. Different sizes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, so that's got that's good, guys. Last year I made them. The last time I made them Halloweeny. Listen, it is what it is. Happy Halloween, to everybody. I can't do it at all. This is enough, right? With the one tray. The last time I bought two trays, and it wasn't. I think it was. Too, it was too much. Mr. Murphy eats a lot of deviled eggs, so definitely didn't eat that much. Well, that's not enough. I don't know if that's oh enough, my honestly. God. All right. There's here. like not, not a lot. There, it's just us, so I think it'll be fine. All right. All right. Let's let's just do that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do two more. Oh, let me do a cutting thing. Because I could fit two more in here. And why not? Remember, guys, I cut this little sliver here. And it's not a hole that I cut in there. It's just a, a little sliver. I'm just going to cut my mouth. Um, a little sliver to keep it straight. I know everything is rolling out of that refrigerator. I, I just straightened out the refrigerator. I gotta, I gotta siphon more stuff downstairs. I hope I have enough for two more. Look at, look at, look at what I just did. Right there on the silver shelf there, you see them? The little half cans. I'm just gonna make these two for somebody who would like one. Enough of yolk. All right. All right, let's put this in the garbage. I'll be right back. All right, people. So here they are.
they're boo All right. All right, let's see if we can get this back to the mama thing on. Now, I know that it's partially broken, and this might be the one that I had that was really broken. I don't know. I can't find my, my did I leave my egg? Did, you know my, my egg um, container with the red top, the square? I can't find the time triangle. I can't find it. I wonder if I left it at Miss Merce two years ago. She would have probably remembered. Yeah. She would have. I have to, I'm going to go online and I'm ordering some another one of those and I'm ordering some piping bags. Now it goes on, it just doesn't it just doesn't lock completely, but it locks. I can't put tin foil on this because it's gonna mess up the yolk. Why doesn't anything just work? Guys, it's not working. Maybe you know what I'm gonna do? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Alright, where's my husband? Bell! He's got the headphones on. I'm going to have him get me black tape or duct tape, but I'm going to duct tape the thing to it. So this way the container, the, the top stays on it because if I put pep, pepper, if I put um, tin foil or anything on it, it's going to make the egg, the yolks go down. And I don't want it, I still want it to kind of look pretty. Is my water boiling? Yeah, it's boiling. Um, so Julie's going to make the pasta salad and... We're going to show you how that goes. I already put a little salt in the water. Watch, buddy. Bill. Where's your left Alright, now it's still up. All right, Julie's um, putting the pasta water in. I'm going to go get the tape, and then I'll be back. There's my <laughs> beautiful, pretty girl. Julie, Hello, everyone. Julie Ann Carol. See? Super soft. Oh, see? Oh, my God. She's, that's right. She's married. Guys, Guys it's about to be a year. It's going to be a year. Don't yeah, mind my face. How did that happen? God. Okay. Back right. to business. Tell her how um, make a good I am salad. making. Oh my goodness! I what? forgot pepperoni. Do you have pepperoni? Have pepperoni. Oh, oh good. Okay. Pepper. That's right. So this is my everything but the sit kitchen sink <laughs> pasta salad that I made. She kind of got the idea from her mother, but it's it's, it's been her altered, recipe. But it's yes. my recipe. Her recipe, and it's amazing. And it's also it's sim it's like the same every time, but it's different every time, and it's really nice because it's yeah. very interchangeable, and you can it put is. in what you like. That's what I do. Um, so what it is, it's, it's pasta, obviously, um, and I just load it up with a bunch of different veggies. So um, the first thing I have in here is some olives and some yellow sweet corn, canned corn, super easy. I just put it in there. I have that freaking corn in the freezer, the, the fresh corn. Oh, yeah, we could have used that. That's even better in there. Well, it's already in the bowl. No. Anywho. Um, okay, so I'm also going to put broccoli tomatoes, a cucumber, carrots. I like to cut the baby carrots up in like little slivers. I like the little crunch it adds. Um, awesome. Sugar snap peas. No onion, it's only this. Oh yeah, I don't do onion you like ever. Like the shredded onion? No, I don't yeah. do onion. I do onion powder. It's still just as good without it the is. onion, it's everyone. Good. You can I add promise. a little onion if you want. Yourself. Yeah, you can add whatever you want. You can add whatever veggies you want. If you don't prefer any of these, you can add yeah. peppers or I don't know. Yeah, you can, there's there's so much you can so do. Many, yeah, broccoli. No, you, oh, you have. Broccoli. I have broccoli. I love broccoli in it. Um, okay, so for my. Okay, I'll start cutting up the vegetables, and then I'll get to my dressing and my toppings and my seasoning. Yeah. That was Cooper, everyone. He's so bad. He's done that five times already. Um. I'm really ready to choke him up. Okay. So I'm gonna start chopping up some of my veggies now. So annoyed with this accent. I cannot wait to get my eggs in. Oh my god, he's destroying the house. Get in the living room. Get in the living room. Mommy's getting me at you. Look what he just did. Look what he just did. Cooper, Look. he brought down the whole Look, guys. pot. Look, mom, you messed up my the oh, way I'm I had sorry. it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. 
Um, what was I coming in here for? I'm screwed. Okay, I like to cut the cucumbers up pretty small and thin. I like everything kind of like chopped almost. Yes, like the other day when you made the, the cucumber salad, they were way too thick. I like them very thin, could you make it thin? Oh Lord, save me. <laughs> so I usually will cut it down the center and then I'll flip it over. Oh, what? He just came over to the thing? And then I'll the cut it down the center again. My crock pot on the floor. Ooh, I this cucumber smells it. so good. Come on, Brody. And now, Brody, I just chop it up. Come on. Now I'm chopping like a weirdo right now because I just worked all day, and honestly, my hands are freaking dirty. Um, because I work with my hands, so that's why I'm chopping kind of weird. Oh, you make it a little square. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you cut them in four. Yeah, that's it. She's my daughter. She's awesome. Yeah, I know. She's so smart. So, yeah, I'm just cutting up the cucumber, and I'll come back when I start the other veggies. Do I just hit? What do I hit? Just hit the red button. Okay, fine. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just added my cucumbers into the bowl. It's really fun to add a lot of different colored vegetables because it just makes it prettier. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, I'm just cutting these baby carrots up into little slivers. You want the little, the little carving yeah, knife? Yeah, I don't like yeah. this knife. Like, that all. knife is good, but it's good for certain things. Let me give you the little carving knife. <laughs> Guys, I got these new PJs, and they're really cute. They have a little bear on them, and it says, here for the hugs. And it makes sense because um, everyone at work my friends giggle at me because I tend to hug most of my clients when they who, leave. Who, 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 who do you think is that? You. No. I hug all my no, clients and me. I go, I go, <laughs> Your I sister. go up to them at the end and I might not even know them that well. About, Can I give you a hug? Yeah, I know. Cucumbers right there. I want a piece. You didn't. Uh -huh. What do you? What? I wanted the end. I just ate one of the ends. Oh, I threw it out. So yeah. So um, I like you to see a little bit of cutting because you guys enjoy that. I know I enjoy people cutting. So. Oh my god, I almost just chopped my nail off. Be careful. Wow, this knife is like even worse. <laughs> what do you mean? It's so little. No. It's perfect. You're going to put more than that, right? Yes, I do. I said you're going to put more than that. Yeah, I'm going to put more than that. Okay. Let me make my own pasta salad, lady. She's doing awesome. All right, I'm going to pause it a second, and then she'll be back with the one of the, the next veggie. Okay, guys, I did the carrots. This is how much I did. And I've been jumping on them. Yeah, mom's <laughs> been. <laughs> I don't um, usually buy these carrots I think anymore. I'm going to do the sugar snap peas next. I, yeah, I like this love, too. love, love. And I these. Them a lot. Ooh, they're not that great looking. These in. Oh, freaking warm walk. Um, these in the pasta salad add mm. for such a good sweet crunch. Yeah. Highly recommend. Very good. So usually I just like cut the little ends mm -hmm. off and then I just cut them into little pieces. Like I said, I like everything kind of chopped. Even though this is like really obnoxious to do, it's worth oh, it. Oh, I'd love to do it. Yeah, this is like annoying to me. She, she doesn't like that. I've if already you cut my nail twice. You know you like, you enjoy like cooking and all that if you love to sit there and chop for hours. Yeah, I don't enjoy cooking. And, and, and I don't use them. Um, She's very good at cooking, though. Yeah, I'm that's really the good thing. Cook, She's actually. a really good cook, and she doesn't and she doesn't like Thanks to cook. Thanks to my mother. Though. Oh, thank you. Thanks to my mother and my nanny and my great aunt. And oh, mom, my... guess what? Mm. One of my clients today. I, I, this is when I do her hair freaking every week. I see her every mm. week for a weekly blog. We're talking about. Um, Why was somebody coming to every week? A lot of people. Because people have money. Uh, my aunts and all my Italian families. They do it time. so they don't have to do their hair. Yeah. What's that? Um, but anyway, so she, we were talking about, like, I was saying what you make on Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. and she called it sauce. And no, she called it gravy. gravy yeah. She called it gravy. I couldn't she's believe true, it. She's a true Italian. Uh, Billy! What? I am, so, I apologize, guys. I didn't know you were on. I didn't know you were on. I didn't know you were on. He could be a little, he, he's just a little space. Right. Little Excuse spacey. me. Boobies here, everyone. You can't see You can't them. unhear it, Knuckle. Can dogs have sugar snap peas? I don't know. Yeah, Alexa, yeah. can dogs eat sugar snap peas? Snap peas. Sugar 
You want to show snappy? Oh. He like, he, he threw that? He ate tight part of it, I think. He, he loves carrots. Oh, he loves, oh. He keeps uh, spitting it out of his mouth. Give him a little carrot. Kids. Give him a little carrot. He likes, he likes carrots. Here, Poop. Here, Poopy. Poopy, you want carrot? Oh, oh Mom. What? Showing my whole body. Oh, I'm so sorry. Still, Mom. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. It All right. To see everything. All right. So she's cutting the pea pods. The, the, why are they calling them pea pods? I don't know. You know what's really good too? Out of, out of, maybe it was the out of, Nami. What is it? Well, Nami. I love that. Um, okay, you made this really messed up. This is my, you see this, they, they know that I snack. And this is the kind of stuff that I love to snack on, which is good because it's, you know, not fanning. Um, all right. So we're going to pause, come back with the next step. Okay, guys, so uh, I'm cutting up broccoli now. Alexa, stop. Um, Mom helped me with the sugar snap peas Alexa, because pause. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> um, okay, so now I'm going to cut up my broccoli. These are much easier to cut up. I just cut them down the stem. Sometimes I'll cut the stems a little bit smaller, so they literally, like, oh, here, you can't see. I'll even, like, take my hand after I cut them and just break them up into littler pieces. So they're just tiny little yeah, they're stems. Yeah, small. We'll have, well, she's, she always does bow ties, guys. I don't know yeah, if Yeah, I prefer them. bow ties. Bow Sometimes ties, I yeah. do the twisty pasta, mm -hmm. but I prefer the bow ties. I had the colored twisties and I asked her if she wanted to do those, but she said no, so. She can't take over everything. <laughs> Oh my gosh, these nails, man. They're too long. I literally keep cutting my nails. Thank goodness it's not my finger. I know I've done that when I had nails. And now I just cut my finger. <laughs> I literally have this little kid, This not, he's not a little kid, he's like 17, he's adorable, one of my little boy clients, mm -hmm. and he started coming to see me because his friend Tommy came to see me, mm -hmm. and they liked, he liked his haircut, and then his dad started coming to see me, and oh, now yeah. I see his friend, him, and his dad, and he was asking me today mm -hmm. if I ever cut my finger while I'm cutting hair, oh, and yes. I was like, I was like, Ryan, I literally cut my finger while I did your dad's hair last time. <laughs> Yes, I cut my finger all the time. I have scars to prove it yeah, too. My hairdressers. I know my. Sister. I have like these little scars on my knuckle right there. Yeah. From because I'm a lefty, so when I mm -hmm. I cut this way, it's very dangerous, honestly. It is. You're like a chef in a way. Yeah, know? it's like I cut, I burned myself twice mm -hmm. on my curling iron today, like, and and I just keep going, cause like I'm used to it. Yeah. Yeah, guys, so I'm just cutting up the broccoli. That's it. It's pretty easy once you get the stems off yeah. to make them smaller with your hands. This one I'm gonna cut again. Actually, I don't like the way that looks. All right, we're gonna pause until she gets to the next step, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back. Mm -hmm. Now I'm doing the tomatoes. Here's the broccoli. Mm -hmm. Oh. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Mommy's a snacker, you know that. So the broccoli I do in, I mean, the carrot. Oh my gosh. The tomatoes I do in fours. Oh, you do them in four. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. I'm much quicker with tomatoes. All right, I'm coming to the end of my rope. This is usually what happens. Oh, Can you four. find the pepperoni? Oh, yeah. It's 4.15 right now. I know, I have to get finished up. What time will we leave you on 6.30? We're leaving at 6.30. Right. I think it's in this freaking thing down here. Where is it? Yeah. Oh my god, this egg thing is really making me angry. I don't understand how something just disappears off the face of the earth. I must have left it somewhere. Oh my gosh, that garbage can. You have to move over a little bit. I know it's so annoying. Um. Ow. Hi. I'd like to know.
know if everyone's fridges are as messy as my mother's. Yeah, I think so. Excuse me. What? It's not messy. It, it's messy. It gets messy because nobody puts anything away. And, and We put it in the fridge where it belongs. Or you want me to see if I have the little one? Um, are you going to cut the little ones anyway? Yeah. So you want to just use this so yeah, we can use fine. it up? Yeah. I do have a little pack of this pepperoni. I know I do. Oh, I think you might change mine. Oh, wait, those are right there. I had the ones. I thought I had the ones from. You buy the ones. Sometimes I buy the ones from the Dollar Tree. And they come in that little box. Mm. And they're very tiny. The mini ones. Yeah, the mini ones. That's what I usually buy for this pasta salad. I forgot. I have these too, if you want. I don't know which ones you want. I'll just use the, the one you gave okay. me. Yeah, I buy pepperoni because I have intentions of making pizza, and then I don't make it right away. And it sits in there for a little while. But it's last a long time. All right, guys, tomatoes are done. Just got to be made. Okay, now I have to do the pepperoni. I literally have no place to put mayonnaise, literally. Oh, you know why? Because something is locking. Okay. Why don't these come lined up? I'm That's tired. So annoying. Oh, shoot, I gotta put the deviled eggs back in there now. Oh, God, it's like a puzzle. So now I'm cutting up the pepperoni. Uh, I better shut that off. People complain. Listening to your thing? Oh, it's very rude, Linda. Like, really? Um, what? Be nice. I didn't mean it. I'm being nice, but people, there are, there are worse things to worry about in life. Like, you know, people are dying and, you know. Kim, there's people dying. <clears throat> what? <coughs> I hope you guys know that reference. Kim? Do you remember when Kim, Kim Kardashian? Kim Kardashian? <laughs> when Kim Kardashian lost her um, diamond earring in the ocean. And she was crying about how she lost her diamond earring in the ocean. Oh, I didn't and see that. Uh, who was it? I think it was um, Courtney. Courtney, and she mm -hmm. was like, "Kim, there's people dying." Yeah, that's I. I could see Courtney saying that. The Kardashians mm -hmm. are ridiculous. Do you think that that? But would... they're richer than all of us, so yeah, I know. Lucky them. They're rich for being doing nothing. Um, do you think that that whole thing when she was robbed in Paris or whatever was real? I don't know. What do you think? It's a conspiracy. Thank you, Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, I don't like Beyonce. I, I don't, you don't even I, know why I'm saying that. There's oh. a conspiracy theory going around that, oh, that Beyonce, Beyonce was the, the is leader. like the ringleader, the ringleader of, of the P. Diddy thing. And that's why people thank Beyonce on everything. Is that why? It's like people... a thing that now everyone, like, thank you, Beyonce. Oh, is that why people say that? Because I didn't understand what that meant. <gasps> I don't know if it's real, Mom. Yeah. It's a conspiracy theory. Well, they say she real. had tunnels or something. They all have tunnels. And, who the heck knows? They're all a bunch of whatever. I'm not going to even go there. But anyway. Okay, the pepperoni is right. checked. Um, I don't, now I, I'm going to I don't do... like Beyonce. And I do like the Kardashians. I've always liked the Kardashians. But, and they're, you know what, about the Kardashians, one thing I have to say is that they are very giving people. Like, they do, the, the older girls give, they do charities, and I've seen them do all that kind of stuff. Who knows if that's just for show. Who knows, but I don't know. Anyway, guys. You know, whatever it is. You need a scissor? Now, those have slices. They're sliced already. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to cut yourself. Would you like a scissor, honey? No. Okay. Um, but, you know, who am I to judge anybody, guys? I love everybody, and everybody is great. <laughs> All right. The pepperoni is a really good add to this, guys. It really, like, it gives it a nice little spice. and it doesn't matter. Why is it so wet? You want to let me get? Sorry. Let me get your paper towel to wipe it off a little bit. No, I don't like that. You don't like what? The wetness. Yeah, that's 
the little pearls have the same thing. Mm -hmm. They're not wet like this. Because this is fresh mozzarella, that's why. It, it, it is made in water, and it, it sits in water. I'm gonna sit here for two minutes. Let me have a piece of that. Isn't it terrible? Really? Thanks. They know me. There's always one for me, one for the pot. One for me, one for the pot. Two for me, one for the pot. <laughs> mm. Mozzarella is what makes it, really. I just said that about the pepperoni. Yeah, it all makes it. I usually buy the mini mozzarella. mozzarella yeah, we balls. usually buy the little balls. I went to Walmart and I went to Sam's, and neither one had the little balls. They yeah, only had the get bigger. Them at shop, right? Yeah, they do have them at shop, but I buy them all the time there. They didn't have the pearls. And I was like, I'm not going to another store, so I'm just going to get these at Walmart, and that's what I did. Yeah, this works just yeah. fine. And um, this right here needs to be um, seasoned because they have no flavor. The, the, the plain mozzarella is so plain. You need salt, you need garlic patty, you need fresh garlic, you need parsley. Okay. All right, guys, so this is all the veggies. We'll come back when I start to dress and season. Okay. Okay, guys, um, the bowl's looking a little full, but I added the pasta to it, and now I'm going to season and dress. Um, so the first thing I do is a whole lemon. I already cut it up. I love the citrus. Mm -hmm. I usually use a bigger lemon than this, but this is all mom had. I have no lemon in there, don't I? I forgot to buy them at, um, I didn't want to buy them at Walmart because they were a rip off. And. Thank you. Can you cut it for me? Then, what? Can you cut it yeah. for me? And then I wanted to get them at Sam's and I totally forgot. Okay, so for my dressing, I do lemon. I do, this is like the key ingredient, this specifically. It's the wishbone creamy Italian. Yeah, remember that time I didn't know and I waited and I didn't. Yeah, I used everyone lemon. was craving my pasta salad. Yeah, because I always like, make it with Italian mom's dressing. Mom's like, I'll make it. But so she makes it with regular Italian yeah, dressing. Yeah, I never made it with this. Uh, that I can't make it any other way now. I have to use that. And everyone was saying that they liked mine better. Oh, it didn't taste the same, didn't taste the same, didn't taste the same. I was like, excuse me. So lemon juice. Now this, even if you just went and like chopped up all these vegetables, I've even made it just like with vegetables. Like you have this vegetable medley and you add lemon juice and a little bit of seasoning. Can or the, or the frozen? No, all of the vegetables I have in here. The whole pasta salad, yeah. just take away the pasta. Oh, just the And you just add like lemon juice to it and oh, seasoning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could eat it with some chips or yeah, just by itself. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to add is this. I probably oh, yeah. add about like half a bottle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, yeah. I'm just going to soak it up. I always end up adding more. Yeah. You put grated cheese yet? I didn't do anything yet. She's so bossy. I said, I asked her. I didn't say put freaking grated cheese. I said, did you put grated cheese? Julie? Now, I'm heavy-handed, so yeah, I like, like taste. She's I like, like her flavor. mother like that. And why is that, you always Pepper. say? Why do you always like such seasoned? Because of you. Now, don't tell me this is too much salt. No, I don't think it's this, too much I'm not talking salt. about you. I'm talking about yeah. them. This isn't mm -hmm. even a lot of salt. Okay? And it's a lot. Of, it's a big thing, so. That's right. So everyone should take a chill. You're going to taste it. And I got guarantee you it's going to need more salt and more grated cheese. It always does. Onion powder. That's why they always say, always say, yeah, you put you in No, I don't. And, and I defend myself and I always say, listen, it looks Garlic like a lot. Powder. It looks like a lot, guys, but it's not because there's a lot of food here. You're not going to put a teaspoon of friggin' pa uh, of garlic powder in a, in, a, in, a, in a big pot of friggin' sauce. You're going to put, you know, a half a cup. That's the way it is. Now you mix. You want to pick? You want me to? No. Oh. oh my God! Look at that, guys. Oh. Oh. 
My God, I need that in my life. Oh my God, I made a really big bowl. It's a pound. We always have leftovers whenever we make it. Even when we bring it, we end up bringing yeah, some, we home. Bring some home. Maybe you should take some out before you bring Yeah, I think do that. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. I'm going to bring my bowl home anyway. Miss yeah. Murphy will take out what she wants. Yeah, that's true. Oh my God, guys. Look at that. You put corn in, right? Mm -hmm. Ooh. You put how many cans of corn? Just mm -hmm. one? Fork. I sure can. Okay, guys, that's the pasta salad. Is the spoon and now, okay? yeah, I'm gonna like taste it and tweak and add what it needs. I got. I have these now because this way I can just throw them out so I don't have um, forty thousand spoons. Because people, you know, you're gonna be double dipped. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh my god. I'm a good cook. Mm. Definitely needs more sauce. Okay, guys, that's it for now. <laughs> Yummy, right, guys? That's the pasta mm. salad. I'm gonna add probably a little bit more mm. dressing, and that'll be it. You gonna take any little salt? No, I, don't I know think yet. I think it's good. I don't know. It's delicious. What's up with this thing? Like, hey, I have a headband, guys. Cool. It's really good. And I'm going to get another spoon because I want one more spoonful. All right, guys. So, um, let me take a, uh, after she mixes that, I'm going to take another pose with it. And then I'm going to, um, I guess should I, I'll just end this video. Well, what was I saying? Should I end it or should I add a little bit on later with my um, costume? I can't make a decision. Yeah, show them your costume. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll show you my costume and then we'll end it after that or whatever. Or I'll, you know, I'll call. I'm not going to post it till night, till, till tonight anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, I'll be back. All right, people. Here I am. <laughs> Ridiculous. Happy Halloween. Julie put a little makeup on my face. This, ooh, I have an itch. This is what it is. Let's do it without glasses. Meow, 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 meow. Bill, come in here. Let's show you. Billy's very, Billy's very, very, very simple. He's even more simple than me. This thing is hot. I'm ready to rip it off, but it'll be cute. This is what I'm doing, guys. This is what I'm doing. Wait till you see Julie. Wait till you see Julie and Darren. I hope they I hope they let you see them. I think they will. Where's Julie and Darren? Upstairs. What are they doing upstairs? Look at Bill. <laughs> Woof. Go closer so they can see your face. Woof, woof. That's it. That's the extent of it. Look, they're come here. Oh, I got a tail. What? They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. <laughs> Stop. Look at my tail, guys. Where's my tail? My tail's all the way down to my freaking home. I'm going to fold it up. No, I don't circle. want to fold it. Right, okay. No, it doesn't hang Please down stop. to my okay. It doesn't hang down to my feet. So this is it, guys. Let me see if Julie and Darren will show you theirs. Oh, my God. They are adorable. One second. Guys, look at Julie. Doesn't she look adorable? 70s girl, right? Mm -hmm. Turn around. Let's see you back. Oh, beautiful. Look at her makeup, guys. Look how good she did. Sorry, man. Oh, my goodness. And let's see hubby. 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 He's a dog. He's cranky. He's a dog. There you go, guys. That's a close-up. 